<laughs> I could sit him on the table. Cause he's still a little kid. No. I can't. This thing always shakes when you first turn it on. Y'all, I look like Dora the Explorer today with my outfit. Cause I wore um brown shorts. <laughs> I gotta get the stomach back down. <laughs> Yo, so I can't wait back because I've been eating crazy stuff, pasta and all this bad stuff. And I had the audacity to just buy some more pasta. But my stomach isn't terrible, but like. I'm, um, I'm scared because I. You're not the gonna fall, boo boo. You're not gonna fall. My mind's right here. But y'all it's weird with me because like my back goes in right here so i feel like because it goes in it makes like the front that same shape like i don't know so <laughs> i kind of have a little mini excuse but um i'm about to show you guys what i just bought <laughs> i'm about to show you guys what i just bought from um the stores um I didn't even think I was about to get all this stuff, but I did. So I definitely have to do like a haul. Boo boo. Stop being distraction, boy. Okay. Tickle off. Okay. So I bought some. I know this is a little controversial. The first thing I'm about to pull out. But I bought some sage. Um, I've never purchased this before. Um, I honestly kind of just want it for like decoration. <laughs> I don't know. I might end up burning it. But um, I really just want it for like decoration purposes. I got this from Five Below. And then I found this at Five Below. And let me see if I can find a picture. No. Okay, I guess it's on here, but it's flipped to the back okay so it's that so you put it over your door and then it's a mirror and a shelf and some hooks I got this for 278 somehow I don't even I didn't think five below had anything that was really below five dollars except for like candy and drinks but whatever um, I thought this was definitely a good deal for that um so yeah i got that i got my little sage um i don't know if i'm burning it or not i don't really believe in you know oh it's gonna clear energy and all that i don't know but um i forgot where oh, okay i got these from dollar tree so this is actually like a little wood shelf so I've been thinking about eventually redoing this wall. So I figured I would grab these little Dollar Tree shelves. Um, I wouldn't want to sit anything too extreme on it. Maybe like spice or something like that. Um, or just small little decorative pieces. Yeah, I got those. That was, what, $3.75. Um, <clears throat> then I had a coupon, so went to Bath and Body Works because when it's a really good coupon you feel like <laughs> you kind of have to use it or you're gonna feel stupid when the prices go back up so I got this for free um I have this thing where I like men's body wash and cologne more than perfume smells um I guess I'm supposed to because I'm a female but I actually use it on myself so I got this one. Um, I have two other scents in my shower that are men's scents, but I figured I would go ahead and get this one because it smells pretty good. Um, it smells like like a. Let me see. It smells like a white tea mixed with like men's cologne. I don't know. Let me see if it has any description. I don't think so. Oh wait, it says fragrance notes, mahogany, black teak wood, and lavender. Yeah, I don't smell that. Like, I smell something that smells like white tea, like a calm um, scent, but also mixed with men's cologne. So then, that was free. I had a free coupon for that. 
and I had a 25% off your entire purchase. So <clears throat> the candles today were um, all three wick candles were $10 off. That's not the best sale, but when you like stack that with the 25% off, it comes down pretty decent. So this is originally $26.50. I know that's crazy, but I never buy candles full price from there. Um, I got the white pumpkin scent and I ended up paying, I think, $14. Let me see. $13.20. So, I mean, I feel like that's not bad. So, yeah, this smells like it smells like some sort of pie, like a sweet potato pie. Yeah, that's like the best description I'm gonna come up with, I know, is sweet potato pie or pumpkin pie, but I only eat sweet potato pie. So, got that stuff, I threw my phone in the bag. <laughs> Better get that out. So then I just went to Whole Foods. You know it's like a limit at Whole Foods. You can only get like two bags <laughs> and then like shop somewhere else for your staples and stuff. Um, because Whole Foods, th these two bags were $55. And they are pretty heavy, but that's still a little crazy to spend $55 on two bags. But anyway, the reason that I went there was to get some salmon. Um, this is the fresh farm raised Atlantic salmon portions um I'm gonna leave these out because I'm about to cook them right now um I like this stir fry stout rice cauliflower so I got two bags of this Um, I enjoyed this it's a little expensive I'm not gonna keep buying this because it was like five something <laughs> And I feel kind of stupid to buy this, but I mean, I don't feel like I know how to replicate this flavor yet. So I just wanted to taste it again. So got that. Then I've never seen this brand of Alfredo sauce, um, but I love Numa's own dressing. So I figured I would give their Alfredo a shot. Um, you know that Alfredo sauce comes in these little jars. So I just got two of these. Get him going in the refrigerator. <laughs> okay, so then got this. I need to cut back on pasta and rice, I know. Um, I'm probably not going to make this for a while. I got two boxes. So then I got a thing of Kerrygold butter. Um, I've had this before, but I don't feel like it's really that big of a difference. Like, I don't see why everybody really loves this, but I said I'll just give it another try. So then I got a ranch chipotle turkey wrap. Um, so wait, guys. Okay, let me go back. So... Then I got this everyday turkey sandwich. I always buy this from Whole Foods. But um, did I tell you guys about <laughs> the time when my belongings got stolen at a club? <laughs> so basically, I was um, going to audition to work at this strip club. So when I got there, it was like a guy that I already knew from working at a previous club, not a strip club, but just like a normal um, nightclub. He was security and I was like a waitress at that time. So went there, got hired on the spot because he's like, oh, yeah, you can just start tonight. So I go go back to the dressing room and I'm asking them, like, do you guys have lockers like? But everybody's stuff was just like sitting on the table, like literally everybody's stuff was out. So I noticed that most of the girls had like suitcases. Um, I just had like a little, you know, cute. It was a Steve Madden bag. I still remember my bag, 
but um it had like studs on the front of it it was really cute so and it was sold out when i tried to repurchase it by the way but i took that back there into the um dressing room and i swear like i'm not lying guys i made most of the money that night i don't know how this doesn't like that was pretty much the only night that's ever happened to me in all of my years or not years but all of my months or whatever you want to call it of dancing i've never made <laughs> as much money as i made that night but of course didn't have a locker didn't really have like a money bag with me nothing like so i basically had to just scoop the money up throw it in my bag and <laughs> take it back to the back because i couldn't like take it on stage with me so basically i'm coming back there checking on it all the time checking my bag checking my bag like i was trying to make it un you know um <laughs> not unattractive but like i was doing everything i could to like try to make people not want to steal the bag because i knew it was a like chance of it getting stolen but everybody's stuff was still out you know all the times i went back there to check so i'm like okay whatever let me just keep putting the money in the bag um never did this again by the way I, that was a great learning experience but putting the money in the bag i swear like it was three um stages in that club so every time i would go to a stage like the crowd would just <laughs> it sounds crazy and unbelievable but every time i would switch stages like the crowd would just come with me and like throw money so i probably made like a good four or five hundred dollars now i have made more than that in one night but what I'm saying is, like, people have never been that, like, a group of people just was on me. Like, it's always, like, when I make a lot of money, it'll be one baller or whatever that comes to the club and just spends, like, $700 or whatever. But, um, <laughs> basically, make a long story short, went back there at the end of the night. Matter of fact, it was a girl that asked me, like, oh, can I use your phone? so i went to go get my phone but when i got back there of course my phone wasn't there my bag wasn't there my clothes weren't there the money that i made that night wasn't there so i'm like are you serious so like then of course the whole fitting room was empty everybody had all their stuff going like and it wasn't like i was lingering around you know it was like these girls basically stole my stuff and left early like they probably split split the money or whatever because like it wasn't even the end of the night for real for real like they just basically left i don't know if it was because i was making all the money and they were like jealous but yeah like i was wiping myself down with sweat like putting it on over my bag like trying to make it so that nobody would want to touch it um but anyway <laughs> so okay this is what i was trying to get to so basically um i had to use somebody's phone call like my bank and shut down my bank cards real fast thank god bank of america has the easiest number in the world so i just remember like what the bank numbers i mean the bank's phone number was because it's like four three two one thousand or something like that so um <laughs> i called the bank and of course you know you can never really get like a person with an american accent so i got um like an indian sounding lady so this isn't trying to be like racist or anything like that what i'm about to say but we all know like indians have an accent and so um i called her and i'm like okay what's the last purchase that was made because i'm trying to figure out like okay where's my card has somebody like already started spending so the lady was like the last <laughs> i'm gonna have to like do the accent so you guys can get like what i'm talking about but yeah she was like the last purchase um was that a cheap hotel so i'm like a cheap hotel like what the heck like they got on the what like already went to a hotel with my card so i'm like a cheap hotel so then she was like oh um so then she started spelling it so she was like c-h-i-p-o-t-l-e and i'm like lady chipotle <laughs> 
so i was like oh my god this lady has me like about to go crazy thinking they done ran my card down and um she was talking about chipotle but she was like cheap hotel and i'm like oh my god but um i just thought about that because i read the name of the um <laughs> rap but anyway let me go ahead and put this stuff where it belongs and then i'm gonna come back in here and make this salmon um i'm trying to think should i make some potatoes with it or what i don't know i have to check and see if my potatoes are still even good because i haven't <laughs> made them in so long but yeah anyway i'll be right back <laughs>
go. I was sitting here for like a good eight minutes without the potatoes even on. I'm like, I would do that with the item that takes like the longest to cook. <laughs> um, but yeah, as you can see, I just cooked the rice cauliflower in the microwave. Um, this is almost done. Um, I'm not gonna like overcook it, but it looks really good. I actually tasted a little piece that broke off and it was good. Um, I have the peppers in this thing and then I'm gonna add some oil and throw the potatoes in this larger pot. So I'm just boiling them right now so they can like soften up and then I like fry them at the end. So yeah, I was like craving this meal. That's why I had to go ahead and <laughs> go to Whole Foods because I'm not always like um, a salmon person. Um, I mean, I like salmon, but I'm saying like I don't always crave it. I'll just eat like little tilapia and stuff that people don't like. <laughs> but yeah, I wanted some actual salmon today. So that's what I did. Bought some salmon. Now I need to keep eating salmon and salads and light stuff. Um, I really want to be a pescatarian sometimes because I don't think I could just give up fish, but I could give up meat like um, Why does something smell like it's burning? Oh, it's this I hope that makes it just taste better. It's a little burn on it. It looks like it kind of will. Because don't people like do this on purpose, burn pepper? But look, I put water in here, but the water just like ran out. Um, I also put a little bit of oil in this, so I don't know. But anyway, now I'm just going to take those out because I'm going to leave them just like that. It actually looks pretty good to me. And then I'm going to clean this out because I don't want my potatoes getting like damaged or whatever so but yeah these look <laughs> actually pretty good like this so this is how the pan looks it didn't really clean all the way but whatever we're still going to use it so but yeah these <laughs> I'm actually glad that the peppers burn because I bet they taste like better now um I'll season them once they get like with the potatoes and stuff. So I read a post that said everybody has a favorite stove eye. <laughs> so y'all tell me what's your favorite stove eye. I think that mine is the left right one only because my microwave is on this side. So I feel like when I open the door it like you know bumps the pan a little bit. So I like this one because it's just like more free. The back ones always kind of get neglected unless I just have more than two pans. Um, go ahead and strain these potatoes. minutes and then I'm gonna mix the um, peppers into them so guys um, I know this topic is getting pretty old but I just wanted to ask you guys how do you feel about the whole Khalees Beyonce thing <laughs> I don't even know like you know word for word what was going on or what um, but from my understanding, Khalees was feeling some type of way because Beyonce like 
sampled one of her songs i don't know the real term but it wasn't sampled necessarily but it was something in one of the beyonce songs that um was from khalees milkshake so the way that i felt about it was like beyonce shouldn't have done it just because the whole nas jay-z beef back in the day like i feel like <laughs> Khalees, I'm pretty sure, was with Nas when all that was going on. So for her to like use some of her music just was kind of like, why are you doing that when y'all probably weren't really liking each other at some point? Um, and plus, I feel like Beyonce is so big that it's like, whatever you do is going to get applauded. So at this point, you don't really need to like mess with Khalees' music. Um, Khalees was, I mean, Milkshake was Khalees' like main song. So it's like, just leave that alone. Let Khalees have her shine or whatever. Um, but also on the other hand, like I couldn't hear anything. I don't know if I was just tripping, but I listened to the song. I was trying to listen to the song and hear the part that Khalees was referring to I really didn't hear anything but I guess maybe I don't know it was in like the credits or something of the song but <clears throat> yeah I was like I can't hear it so but um I guess Beyonce removed it um but my thing is Beyonce is so big at this point that it's like she could literally get on the track and just say hi <laughs> and it will probably sell like billions of records so why do you need to even touch her stuff so i get it like um i'm pretty sure like i said when the whole nas jay-z beef was going on they probably were together so yeah that's that's the only part that felt a little shady about it to me but let me know below what y'all think i know like beyonce definitely has more fans and stuff but just let me know what y'all think. I don't care either way. So don't come for me because I don't care. But <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm just opening this up and putting it in an actual bowl. So I can season it. I'm like so into seasoning stuff now. When I was younger, I would only use like salt and pepper on everything. But now seasoning is like my favorite part <laughs> so this is how that um rice cauliflower looks so you guys can see why i bought this <laughs> brand because that's like the most appealing rice cauliflower um i like this and what is it? Let me see if I have one. Yeah. So I like that one and this one the best. 